Ohio High School for the second meeting of the regular season between the Crosstown rivals as the Midland High Kimmicks make the trip to take on the Dow High Chargers. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. We welcome you inside the Charger Gymnasium for this boys varsity basketball contest between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Midland High coming in under veteran head coach Eric Krause with a 12-4 record. The Dow High Chargers coming in under first-year coach Marshall Gray. They come in with a 7-8 record. However, one of those seven victories, Tom, two weeks ago against the Midland High Kimmicks. And the Midland High Kimmicks have some unfinished work with uh, the Chargers and the Chargers would like nothing more than to uh, defeat them on their home court again. Yeah, two weeks ago when uh, these two teams played, Malik Gardner had a tremendous breakout game for the Dow High Chargers. He was on fire. It just seemed like everything he shot went in. R running jump shots, uh, his quickness that night was really impressive. For the Midland High Kimmicks, they are coming off an impressive win of their own. Midland High is coming off a win over Saginaw in Saginaw. The first time the uh, Kimmicks had defeated Saginaw since 1992. It gives Midland High all kinds of momentum coming into this contest. You know, and when you win a game like that uh, and they're having to climb into the history books to figure out the last time it had happened, uh, that was really special. And they've got a special season going right now. Being 12 and 4, uh, this squad is being compared with some squads from previous decades. Yeah, the Midland High Kimmicks currently ranked third in the Saginaw Valley North behind Saginaw and Arthur Hill. And of course, that victory over the uh, number four Trojans a couple of days ago has got Midland High fired up for this contest. Plus, you add in the fact, Tom, that Midland High wants to erase what happened two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, and uh, talking to Eric Krause br briefly the other day, he said he just didn't know where his kids' shooting heads were at. Uh, they just shot so very poorly in his estimation. So we are set to go with round number two between the Midland High Kimmicks and the Dow High Charger. This time it takes place at Dow High. So for our national anthem and for the starting lineup, let's turn things over now to our public address announcer, Jason Jahowski. Junior, number 30, Will Williams. 
Starting lineups and we are set to go. High school basketball here on MPS TV. Jason Hopper, Tom Bell, a complete crew of MCTV staff and volunteers all set to bring you the second matchup of the regular season between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Dow High in their home white uniforms. The Midland High Kimmicks will be wearing visiting blue for this contest. The Dow High Chargers overcoming some early struggles on their season in order to uh, build a seven and eight, almost 500, a victory tonight by Dow would put the team at 500. Midland High changing up their lineup a little bit. Austin Ear getting the start for the Midland High Chemics and he wins the toss. We are off and running boys varsity basketball on MPS TV. Will Williams working the ball to Alec Johnson. Johnson from the free throw line, in and out. Shot is no good, battle for the rebound, and we're gonna have a jump ball call. Now the Midland High Kimmicks and the Dow High Chargers. Last time they played, Dow High won the contest rather easily. I don't expect this contest to be uh, uh, quite the same. The Dow High Chargers. Looking to inbound the basketball. First possession of the game for the Dow High Chargers. Couple of dribbles by Gavin Grocek. Grocek, a senior on the Dow High team, gives it over to Adam Fitzgibbon. Fitzgibbon is a player that has played very well in the last few weeks for the Dow High Chargers, and the Chargers are going to throw the ball away. Well, Dow well, it's interesting. Uh, I was watching who uh, the Chemics were going to put put on on Garner, and uh, they started off with uh, t Tyler DeYoung, 6'5", and then they switched with, with an another player that's uh, three or four inches taller than Garner. So Chargers giving some pressure as the Midland High Kimmicks forced the ball across midcourt. Nathan Blanky working to Alec Johnson, who's wide open, can't get the three-pointer to go. Battle for the rebound. Tyler DeYoung will pull it down. Now Will Williams with the three-pointer. First basket of the game coming from the top of the key. Will Williams getting the three-pointer to fall through. Malik Garner, we talked about in our pregame, Tom. Garner had a great, phenomenal performance a couple of weeks ago against the Chemex. We'll see if he can repeat the job here. Dow High working underneath, and a blocking foul is going to be called against Ear. That is something, Tom, that Marshall Gray told us before the game that he wanted to see. He wanted to see the big guys improve. He's been very pleased with his guard play. He wants to see the big guys get involved. We just saw the big guys get involved there. Gavin Grocek thinking about the three-pointer. Now he decides against it. We are just underway in this boys' varsity basketball game. Malik Gardner with the ball now for the Chargers. Gardner, and we're gonna have a whistle called away from the ball. We'll wait to see who the foul's gonna be called. I think it's gonna be on Williams. Will Williams picking up the second team foul against the Chemics. A holding foul that happened away from the ball. Kimmicks leading early on. Chargers underneath the basket. Can't get the shot to go, but they do keep possession. Gardner setting things up for the Dow High Chargers. 
Gavin Grocheck now working the basketball for Dow. Grocheck taking a couple of dribbles. Gavin Grocheck being guarded by Ear. Grocheck now taking a block, works the ball over to the far side, three pointer. Fired up by Adam Fitzgibbon, it's no good. Ball goes out of bounds, Chargers will keep possession. Well, we're seeing a lot of jockeying for position underneath uh, the, the Dow basket. Uh, there, there's a, a game within a game down there. Uh, people just trying to find a little crease uh, to get an easy shot or a put back. Grocheck with the basketball, drives into the paint, can't get the friendly roll. Loose ball, Austin Ear will have the rebound for the Midland High Kimmicks. Midland with the only bucket so far. Three point shot taken, that one is no good. Alec Johnson with the rebound. Johnson over to Williams. Will Williams thought about the three, decides against it. Williams now cuts back inside. Will Williams being guarded by Grocheck, now to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung, Alec Johnson from the free throw line. Kimmicks were lucky, a very lackadaisical pass. Ball is on the ground. Chargers are going to come up with it. Only one basket in the first three minutes of this contest. Well, now that Dow is uh, going to try to set up their offense, try to create something inside. Gavin Grocheck into the paint, looking for Fitzgibbon. Now back out to Garner. Both teams relatively patient, trying to get their offense in gear. Garner to the paint, now to Grocheck. Grocheck three-pointer off the mark. Alec Johnson is going to bring the ball back from Midland. Four on two, number advantage, but they're going to pull out. Tyler DeYoung, three-pointer, shot is no good. And a rebounding foul is going to be called against the Chargers. Well, DeYoung had himself quite a shooting night the other night against Saginaw High, and right now he just hasn't found the range. Inbound the pass and a quick shot. Nathan Blinky, the senior, wasting no time, goes up single-handedly with the shot. Blinky with the bucket. Chemex with a five-point lead about halfway through the first quarter. Chargers have yet to find pay dirt. Now Gavin Grocheck wide open lane, and the Chargers are on the scoreboard. Gavin Grocheck taking what the Chemex gave him, able to get the layup, and now the Chemex quickly back on offense. Will Williams, three-pointer in transition. The Chargers not getting back on defense quick enough, and Will Williams making them pay. I think Williams has, has outscored his efforts uh, the first time they played down already. Malik Gardner, long two-pointer, no good. Did not follow his shot. Nathan Blanky will come back the other way for Midland. Alec Johnson, three-pointer from the top of the key. Shot is no good. Chargers will get the rebound. Six-point Midland High lead. Malik Garner firing to a wide open. Adam Fitzgibbon, who can't get the three-pointer to fall. Chargers having a hard time finding the bucket here at home in the first quarter. And already we, we've seen some benefits of having Austin Ear into the game. He's given them some rebounding strength and some hustling. And he almost got another rebound. Austin Ear. Yeah, so definitely he, he served Midland High very well as the sixth person off the bench for most of the season, and it was very impressive in that role. Now he's got a starting position, and Austin here definitely making the most of it. He certainly is a matchup problem for Dow. Dow High keeping possession of the basketball. Malik Gardner working the ball right now, goes inside, fadeaway shot, counted. Andrew Cassidy, the senior, able to bank it in off the glass. It is a four-point game. Chargers putting a little bit of pressure on Midland, who gets across midcourt. Nathan Blanky can't get the shot to go. Chargers with the rebound. Fitzgibbon bringing the ball down on the board for the Dow High Chargers. 2.20 to play here in the first. And we have Peyton DeWilt in the ball game, the freshman uh, playing for Midland High. Long shot taken by Gardner, it's no good. Kimmich's coming up with the rebound. Will Williams driving in, now dishes out to Nathan Blanky. Three-pointer, count it. 
Marshall Gray may want to think about a timeout if Nathan Blanke rings in a three-pointer to give the Kimmicks an 11-4 lead under two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Well, uh, Dow has been get, allowing Midland to set their feet on the three-point shot. Working inside, knocked away. Tyler DeYoung with strong defense. Now the Kimmicks working numbers. Peyton DeWilt loses the ball, but the Kimmicks will keep possession. More changes coming into the game. Jacob Dostal checking in for Midland, and Zach Hook will check into the game for the Chargers. 95 seconds here in the first quarter. It's an 11-4 advantage for the Midland High Kimmicks. Williams working the ball for Midland. Williams fires up a three-pointer, count it. Second three-pointer of the, third three-pointer of the game for Will Williams, who is absolutely on fire, and this time Marshall Gray is going to take a 30-second timeout with 1.21 to play. The Kimmicks quickly up by 10 here in the first quarter, and Two weeks ago, we spent a lot of time talking about Malik Garner. We may be spending a lot of time tonight talking about Will Williams. Well, he certainly is a lot more offensive-minded uh, tonight. Uh, he's had a couple of openings to take the three, and uh, he, he's had a great follow-through. A little bit earlier, I mentioned that Dow was giving uh, a lot of Dow play, or Midland players a chance to set their feet. That was a contested three. Uh, th th that was very impressive, and Will Williams... It has the beginning of a very impressive game. Williams has got nine of Midland High's 14 points, all from the three-point line. Chargers with the ball after the timeout. Gavin Grocheck working the basketball for the Chargers. Now to Malik Gardner. Gardner to Fitzgibbon, back to Gardner. Gardner taking a screen set by Hook. Keeping the dribble alive with under a minute to play. Tried to go inside. Williams coming up with a steal and a jump ball is going to be called. Nice aggressive play by Will Williams. Getting it done both offensively and defensively. Chargers are going to bring Matt Deshaun into the game. Deshaun came off the bench two weeks ago. Had a very nice game for the Dow High Chargers. 50 seconds to play. Kimmix leading by 10 here in the first quarter. Williams well, just looks a lot more confident tonight. I, he looks like he's having fun out there. Tyler DeYoung back to Williams. Williams now going over to Peyton DeWilt. DeWilt to DeYoung. DeYoung still has his dribble alive. Clock down to 25 seconds. Williams getting an open baseline. Count the bucket. Will Williams. Getting the bucket, driving through, continuing a very strong first quarter. 10 seconds to play. Driving in is Gavin Grocheck, and he will go to the bucket. Grocheck with his first, his second basket of the game. Final seconds. Alex Johnson putting up a three-pointer. It would have counted if it went, but it hits the front of the rim. And the first quarter comes to an end. Will Williams stealing the show for the Midland High Kimmicks here in quarter number one. We've played eight minutes of high school basketball. At the end of the first quarter, it's Midland High 16, Dow High 6. Hi, I'm production assistant Billy Bethune from the MCTV Network. Ever wondered how the program you're watching right now is put together or how you can create one of your own? One way is to tune into a training program at MCTV Midland Community Television. The first class has an orientation, tour, and studio session where you learn how to use equipment like this in our studio. The second week you'll come back to learn how to use our digital video cameras as well as our other digital video editing equipment. That way you'll be able to go out and shoot events that are happening around Midland. What he said. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, if you would like to join our growing list of access users and have fun at the same time, call the MCTV network at 837-3474 or visit the City of Midlands website. Or you can stop by the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Library to the MCTV studio to sign up. 
And we welcome you back to Dow High. Starting the second quarter, Chargers with the basketball down by 10. Midland High led by Will Williams with a great first quarter. 16 to 6 our score. Dow High working the basketball. Working around to the baseline. And a nice give by Grocheck. The follow-up could not fall through. And the Midland High Chemics will come back the other direction. That was pretty good interior defense uh, for the Chemex. Williams driving into the paint, can't get a shot to go. Rebound by Austin Ear, now it's on the ground. Everybody fighting for it. They're still fighting despite the whistle going and I believe they're gonna say, are they, are they gonna say that Midland was out of, uh, Dow was out of bounds? No foul was given. They may have had one, one person from Dow out of bounds first. Possibly, they squirmed. Possibly the call. Kimmich will keep possession. Blinky missing a fadeaway shot. Chargers pulling down the rebound. Zach Hook getting the board for Dow High. Malik Gardner, three-pointer, count it. Actually, they're, they're calling that a two. They're yeah. saying that Gardner's foot was on the line, so a two-pointer for Malik Gardner, but it was the, the first basket for Gardner in this contest. Second quarter action. Austin Ear, handful of traffic, gets the bucket to fall through. May not have been pretty, but it will work. Austin Ear <laughs> with the basket for the Midland High Chemics, back to a 10-point lead. And Tyler DeYoung coming up with a block in the paint. And the Chemics coming back the other direction. Alec Johnson giving it to Williams. Williams back to Johnson. Three-pointer, no good, and a foul called. A foul called away from the ball. A foul is going to be called on Nathan Blinky, who was nowhere near the action, but apparently creating action of his own. Dow High bringing Adam Fitzgibbon back into the contest. Midland High leading by 10. Chemex coming off a huge win over Saginaw High. Ranked number four in the state were the Trojans and Midland High defeating them in Saginaw. A lot of momentum for Midland High coming into this contest. Midland High only four losses on the season. Chargers looking to go to 500 if they can pick up their second win over Midland here in 2013, but they won't do it with turnovers like that. Looks like we had an illegal screen by 44. Zach Hook. By, by Cassidy. Hook. Is that Hook? Zach Hook is 44. You are correct. I think they said Cassidy over the public address announcer. Well, the board says Hook, so they'll have to clarify I will which go one with, it was. I will go with Hook. Right now, Dow High with the ball, trying to do too much. Fitzgibbon tried to force it inside to Cassidy, but fired that shot a little bit too hard. 5.35 to play here in the second quarter. Chargers bringing on some pressure, nearly resulted in the steal. Alec Johnson bringing the ball across to midcourt for Midland High. Now to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung taking a couple of dribbles. DeYoung looking for some place to go. Ends up going to Austin Ear. Ear, well out of his range, gives it to Will Williams. Williams, open lane, and a block shot goes over the backboard. Dow High's Adam Fitzgibbon coming up with the block for the Chargers underneath. But if it was blocked and went over the backboard, shouldn't it be middle and high's ball? I don't know. I, I would have thought that Dow would have touched it last. I guess not. Malik Gardner working the ball to Cassidy and Andrew Cassidy unable to get the shot to go. Under five minutes to play here in the second quarter. Midland High leading by 10. Kimmix have led the entire game up to this point. Couple of dribbles. For Midland High going inside. Fadeaway shot by Nathan Blanke. Count it. Well off balance. Nathan Blanke able to get the bucket to fall through for Midland High. 
Well, a quick observation for Midland High. They seem a lot more organized on offense than they did the first time they played Dow. But Dow had such good defense against the, the Chemex that night. Malik Gardner with the basketball. Quickly over to Matt Deshone. Deshone's got the ball. Really seems the Dow High Chargers having a hard time getting their offense to go. And Austin Ear almost had a steal. Couple of changes as uh, John Bork checks into the game. He's a junior for the Dow High Chargers. But right now, Chargers offense having a hard time getting on the same page. Midland High will bring Gabe Blaylock into the contest to give Ear a chance to catch his breath. But Chargers just nothing going offensively, having a hard time even getting organized to run a play. I, I think interior defense on the Chemex has been uh, really superior so far. From the free throw line, John Bork, the junior, comes into the game and gets a quick basket for the Chargers. Midland High back the other way very quickly. Nathan Blanky trying to find somebody, and he's going to be fouled. Matt Deshone committing the foul. He did not think so, but the official did, so Deshone picks up his first. Each team with three personal fouls, so Neither team in foul trouble here in the first half. Blanky working to Blaylock. Blaylock, couple of dribbles before giving it to Peyton D. Wilt. Now to Alec Johnson. Johnson cutting across, finds Blanky. Blanky cutting across perfectly, and the bucket falls in for the Chemex, leading by 12 here in the second quarter. That was a great pass by Johnson. Uh, Blanky just a quick give and go into the middle. Dow High's John Bork off the glass. Bork coming in and trying to fire up his Charger teammates. Bork off the bench with four quick points for the Chargers. John Bork has arrived. Blaylock with the ball for Midland. Now to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung to Alec Johnson. Johnson, back to the top of the key to, De, to Blaylock. Now baseline and Malik Gardner, or excuse me, Matt Deshone coming up with the block shot for the Chargers. Now they try to complete the play but can't do it. A little too aggressive underneath in the turnover. So the block could not get anything going for the Chargers. And they were setting up Bork underneath the basket. Uh. I think they're, they're looking for a spark, and Garner right now has been kind of bottled up. They're, they're looking for a little lightning in a jar, and maybe it's Bork. Will Williams with the ball for Midland. Now Tyler DeYoung, three-pointer way off the mark, but Austin Ear was there for the rebound, and Ear will get the bucket to fall through. Austin Ear doing a great job, only four points, but he has done a whole lot on the floor for the Midland High Kimmicks. Again, not the prettiest shot, but it went in. As long as it goes through the hoop, that's the only thing that matters. Under two minutes to play here in the second quarter. 12-point Midland High lead. Chargers working the ball to Malik Garner. Garner fires up a shot, count it. Malik Garner has been relatively quiet, and now a timeout will be called Marshall Gray calling a timeout immediately after Garner hits the shot. I think Marshall wants to try to fire up the uh, Chargers a little bit and get them back into the game. They're down by 10 with a minute 45 to play. Well, and th this is a great time to kind of draw a line in the sand going, okay, this is where I want to be at halftime. He's got some specific goals and they're down by 10. They don't want to be down by 15 when they, they go into the locker room. They want this game uh, a lot closer. You know, the funny thing, Marshall Gray is in his first year as a coach at the Dow, for the Dow High Chargers. It doesn't feel that way. It feels like, you know, Gray is, is definitely putting his feet in cement for the Dow High Chargers. He's got a lot of passion. He's fire, very fiery at times. But, for the, you know, for the foreseeable future, you really think Dow High is in good hands with Marshall Gray as the coach. Oh, he, he's a real so solid basketball person, and I know. Dave McDonald was very comfortable with uh, Marshall uh, taking over the program. Jake Dostel will go to the free throw line, the junior coming into the game and ends up quickly on the stripe for the Midland High Chemex. 
you know, and uh, for Marshall, he, he exudes uh, enthusiasm and re re requires discipline. Dosto getting the free throw to fall through. And on the other side, Eric Krause in the Midland High Chemics, and what a job uh, Eric has done with the Midland High team. They've stumbled a couple of times throughout the season. They've got four losses, but you know Eric Krause, as Dosto misses the second free throw, and Ear almost had the putback. I'll finish that thought in a second as Malik Gardner works the ball to Fitzgibbon. Now they try to go back to Gardner. Malik Gardner working the ball around for the the Dow High Chargers. Gardner with the basketball as the Chargers try to set up the play. Eric Kraus coaching his defense and Eric Kraus, one of the most respected coaches in the area, if not the state. Oh yeah, I, I, hardly anybody has I anything but the finest adjectives for Eric Kraus. Austin Ear, Ear coming in hard with a hard foul on Malik Gardner. If this was the next level, they might be looking at uh, at a, uh, at, a at the monitor. They, they, they might be looking to see if there was uh, any contact with the head. This isn't the next level, and Malik Gardner will just go to the free throw line and cannot get the first free throw to fall through. It was a hard foul by ear. Definitely not a dirty foul, just a hard foul. Malik Garner hitting the second free throw for the Chargers. And this is the Saginaw Valley? Yes. <laughs> Midland High, Eric Krause was trying to get a timeout, couldn't get it, but Midland able to make something out of it anyway, and Will Williams will go to the free throw line. You know, when he gets in the open court and starts to head towards the basket, I felt sorry for uh, Cassidy because how do you block lightning, you know? <laughs> At Cassidy picking up his second foul as Williams goes to the free throw line. Williams able to get the first free throw to fall through. Only his first point of the second quarter. He has 12 for the game. Second free throw is good as well. Under a minute to play here in the second quarter. Chemex with a lead. They've had a lead the entire game. Malik Garner trying to go coast to coast. Can't do it. Midland will come back the other direction. Tyler DeYoung with the ball. Now to Nathan Blanky. Blanky off balance. Can't get the shot to go. No foul called. Marshall Gray wanted a rebounding foul on Dostal. Did not get the call. Chargers will come back with 30 seconds to play. Dow will look for the final shot of the first half. Malik Gardner holding on to the basketball, clock down to 15 seconds. Gardner trying to direct traffic as he goes to the top of the perimeter, clock quickly down to five. Fitzgibbon with a three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Nathan Blanky. Blanky can fire up a shot, and it goes in! <laughs> Nathan Blinky hit the buzzer with an off-balance three-pointer and the Kimmicks with a 15-point lead and all kinds of momentum here at halftime. Well, as poorly as Midland played at Midland High, Midland's playing really well right now. There is no doubt about that. A, a way to send uh, the Kimmicks into the locker room with a 15 point lead and take a look at this Tom as the final seconds were running down on the clock. They had to fire up a shot extremely quickly and look at that. Banking it in from uh, about three or four feet from the three point line and the Midland High Chemics go into halftime leading by 15. At the end of the second quarter, it's Midland High 30, Dow High 15. We'll be back with quarter number three right after this.
And we welcome you back to Dow High getting ready for quarter number three, the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Charger boys varsity basketball here on MPS TV. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, and an entire crew of MCTV staff and volunteers on hand to bring you this contest in the Midland High Chemics having a very strong first half of basketball. They lead by 15 over the Dow High Chargers. And, uh, well, two weeks ago we saw Dow go into Midland's gym and control the game. Tonight we're seeing Midland come into Dow's gym and control the game. And uh, Will, Will Williams is having a great night. And uh, Nathan Blanke uh, entertained the crowd just before halftime with a running half court or a three point shot at the buzzer. But only three players have scored for Midland High. Now the Kimmicks with the ball. Austin here dumping it over to Nathan Blanke. Blanke with a great pass to Williams who gets the bucket to go. What a pass. Midland High picking up where they left off. The highlight reel is going to be packed of Midland High uh, video at the end of this contest. Tyler DeYoung coming up with a block. Dow High getting the ball back, and Cassidy will go to the free throw line. Well, going back to that pass, it was equally as, as marvelous a shot because he changed hands and went in uh, under with the left hand. So quite a play all the way around. Midland High leading 32 to 15 as Andrew Cassidy goes to the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. And Cassidy, who is a senior on this Dow High team, able to score for the Dow High Chargers from the free throw line. He does it again. Cassidy with four points on the game. Back to a 15 point contest. Will Williams with the ball for the Midland High Chemics. Williams looking for some place to go. Back out to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung catching Blanky on the pass. Blanky with a, a twisting shot. If that would have went in, that would have been another highlight. Malik Gardner, three-pointer. In and out. Rebound by Austin Ear. And Ear is going to be fouled. Cassidy drawing the foul, and we may have some frustration setting in for the Dow High Chargers because the Chemics look to be picking up here in the third quarter right where they left off. Uh, and Ear is giving them some tremendous rebounding, and I like the way he fought for space without raising his elbows. I really like the way that Austin Ear is playing basketball tonight. Right now, Ear's got the ball. Ear fighting his way through. Nice pass to Blanky. Blanky fires off the glass and gets the shot to go. Kimmich absolutely cannot miss. 14 for Blanky. Dow High working the ball inside. Cassidy will go to the line and he'll get the bucket as well. Andrew Cassidy with a chance for a three point play for the Chargers. And I think that's on Ear. No, actually, they're going to call it on Johnson. Oh, are they? Okay. Which is the uh, the first one on Johnson. Johnson got him first. But the free throw is no good. So only a two-point play. 34-19, Midland High leading. Just a couple of minutes into the second half. Williams can't get the shot to go. Cassidy with the rebound for the Chargers. They come back the other direction. Malik Garner trying to go through traffic, and he travels. Good call. It was, and uh, Garner really should just continue to play basketball. J don't show up the referee by looking quizzically. He's too good of a player for that. And this officiating crew doing a fairly respectable job here in this boys varsity basketball game. Malik Gardner with the ball. Can't get the shot to go. Tyler DeYoung with the rebound. And the shots that went down effortlessly two weeks ago are struggling tonight for Gardner. Nathan Blinky with the ball for the Chemics. DeYoung over to Williams. Williams red hot in the first half. Alec Johnson thought about the three. Johnson driving baseline. Good defense being played by Fitzgibbon, but still Johnson found an open man. 
Gimmick's moving well on Austin, and Will Williams left alone at the top of the perimeter. Williams hitting a three-pointer. He's got four three-pointers on the game, and Marshall Gray needs a timeout. And 18 for the night. A great game for Williams, and with 5.16 to play here in the third quarter, the Midland High Kimmicks in control, 37 to 19. High school basketball here on MPS TV. If you're just tuning in and you would like to watch this game in its entirety, air date for Monday, February 18th at 10 o'clock in the evening, Tuesday, February 19th at 9 o'clock in the evening, and then Saturday, February 23rd, showtimes at 10 o'clock in the morning and then 6 o'clock in the evening. A lot of chances to check out high school basketball as the boys' season winds down, depending on what day you're watching this game. About a week left in the basketball season before districts, which will be held at Midland High this year. There you take a look at the playback times for this contest. The thing that's remarkable about this game right now is that Midland High has two of their top scorers who haven't scored a point yet. Uh, DeYoung and Johnson haven't scored a point and Midland High is up by 18. And the Midland High Chemex playing great defense down high almost with a violation, but they did get the ball across and now they fire a three-pointer. Matt Deshaun able to hit the three-pointer. The senior with his first bucket of the game, Deshaun from the baseline to try to cut into this Chemex lead. Blanky, no place to go, being double teamed. Chargers forcing a turnover. Dow High coming back with a three on two numbers advantage and they turn the ball away. Looked like we had ourselves uh, kind of a switch of momentum there. Uh, you know, Dow's got a long way to go, but it's got to start somewhere. And uh, Dow had a, in a, about a three on two break, just didn't work for them. Alex Johnson, three-pointer from the baseline, and then Johnson with a steal and another bucket. Okay. Five huge points back-to-back -back for Alec Johnson. Oh, did I tell you Alec Johnson now has five? <laughs> <laughs> Dow High on the baseline, firing up the shot. Andrew Cassidy off of the base, off, off of the layup with the basket. Chargers just cannot get uh, much going because Midland High is just having a phenomenal offensive showing. Dow High coming up with the rebound that time around. Matt Deshaun drives the baseline, now works it back out. Three point shot, count it. The three pointer falls through for Adam Fitzgibbon. Fitzgibbon, I think he was uh, making a gesture towards the uh, towards his own student section, but he's got to be careful that uh, he's not called for taunting after that three-point shot. Dow High coming up with a steal, and we've got a foul called. I believe it's going against the Chargers, and it is not a popular call, but Andrew Cassidy. Is going to be called with the foul, which is the third one on Cassidy. It was a little hard to tell what was going on in there, but it looked like Cassidy was trying to put his uniform back on. I, he got grabbed and pulled. I, well, that's what Cassidy was trying to say, was that he was being, you know, the, the officials may have caught the retaliation, not the initial, but Cassidy is playing with three fouls now. Alec Johnson inside, loses the handle on the ball, but able to recover. Midland works it back over to Williams. Now Tyler DeYoung at the top of the key. Alec Johnson back to Williams. Williams over to Jake Dostal. Dostal gets the ball on the baseline and a block shot. Adam Fitzgibbon coming up with the block for the Chargers, but then Dostal knocks the ball away. Chargers able to keep possession. On the baseline, Fitzgibbon trying to keep it alive. Ball on the ground, Midland will come up with it. Peyton D. Will down the court, and that ball is knocked away by Deshaun. Recovered and a foul, they're gonna call it on the floor. For a while it looked like the old game of, of uh, pinball, and uh, the referee was part of it. 
a, a very uh, wild couple of moments of basketball. They called that last foul on the floor, so the Kimmix will inbound underneath their own basket. But for a while, you're right, nobody wanted to hold on to the ball. Lots of turnovers back to back to back. Williams taking the inbound pass, gets the bucket to fall through. Will Williams continuing his tremendous game. The Kimmix leading 44 to 27, just over two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Williams has 20. Deshaun try to work it inside. It was kicked away by the Midland High Kimmicks who come up with the steal. Peyton D. Will having a hard time holding on to the ball. Eric Krause trying to get the Kimmicks to slow the pace of this game down a little bit. From the paint, Alec Johnson can't get the shot to go. Jake Dosko with a great rebound and now a jump ball is going to be called. And that Dosko was in the middle of two or three other uh, uh, chargers and he was the one that came down with the ball. Possession arrow in favor of the chargers. Dosko is a strong kid, 6'3", 220. He's a junior for the Midland High Kimmicks. 90 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Dow High with the basketball, working on the baseline. Now they go to Fitzgibbon. Three-pointer, shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by John Bork. Up off the glass, Fitzgibbon with the rebound. Adam Fitzgibbon is a junior, gets the bucket to fall through. He's got five on the night. Midland High, Nathan Blanke being guarded very closely by Deshaun. Blanke trying to work his way through. I'm really surprised at five second call. I don't think any of the officials were counting. Three point shot, Peyton D. Wilt can't get it to go. Tyler DeYoung saves the ball, great hustle. And we're gonna have a foul called against the Chargers. Amazing hustle and you have to love the fact, Tom, that with a fairly comfortable lead, Midland High is still playing and hustling and trying to get after every loose ball. Uh, and, and for that matter, so is Dow. But you know, they called the foul, but I don't think that that, that was the most contact of that entire possession. But it was the one that they ended up calling anyway. Alex Johnson, three-pointer from the baseline. Johnson with his second three-pointer. He's got eight points in the contest, all here in the third quarter. Midland High leading by 18. Three-pointer by Fitzgibbon is no good. Peyton D. Wills will have the rebound for Midland. Kemix looking to play for the final shot. 15 seconds to go. Williams working the ball to Nathan Blanke. Blanke. With a couple of dribbles, final seconds running down here in the third quarter. Nathan Blanke with a jump shot, count it. He hit one at the buzzer to end the, the first half, and Blanke hits one here in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Will Williams ended up getting drilled as the Dow High Chargers were trying to get a last second shot. Nothing called by uh, any of the officials, and uh, Eric Krause was out about halfway onto the court. Eric Krause was questioning uh, what was going on and why Williams was doubled over in pain. But nothing called, and the third quarter comes to an end with Midland High ahead by 20, a comfortable 49-29 lead for the Midland High Kimmich. Glad you could be with us for high school basketball here on MPS TV. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, a whole crew of MCTV staff and volunteers on hand. And if you're interested in becoming an MCTV volunteer, the next orientation will take place on Saturday, March 9th. Takes place at 10 o'clock in the morning in the MCTV studio, which is located in the basement of the Grace A. Dow Library. If you need more information, call that number, 837-3474 is the number to call. The orientation will cost $45, which includes the first year access user fee. 
If you can find out exactly how to become an MCTV volunteer, how to work on various programs, how to produce your own program, it all takes place at the MCTV studio. Well, here we go, quarter number four. Midland High leading by 20 over the Dow High Chargers. Chemex looking to cap off what has been a terrific week for boys basketball at Midland High. Peyton D. Wilk working the ball over to Alex Johnson. Now back to D. Wilk. Working to Austin Ear who has checked back in. Jake Dosto, Austin Ear, that's a pretty good front line. They could lead a, a football team. Austin Ear trying to go off the glass. And now Malik Gardner coming back the other way and Gardner able to lay the shot in. The steal resulting in points for the Dow High Chargers. Gardner's got seven on the contest. Inside, Alex Johnson all by himself. Great hesitation, the bucket and the foul. That was orchestrated so well. He gave that head fake, watched uh, the Dow player. I didn't catch who the Dow player was, 42. Uh, watched him go up Bork. And then he flips it up. It goes about three, and three or four feet above the rim and into the basket. Oh, that was just a, a great job of hesitating. And now Alex Johnson caps off the three-point play by hitting the free throw. And Johnson has 11 all in the second half. Dow High working inside. Nice job breaking through the traffic. Andrew Cassidy. Blitz apart the Midland defense, and Cassidy able to get the bucket to fall. And he's the first out charger in double figures. And Midland High will be called for a foul. That foul, only the second team foul this half on the Midland High Chemex called on Jake Dostal. Actually, no, check that, that was a charger foul. Now it's charger basketball. So that last foul was called on Matt Deshaun, which puts the Midland High Kimmicks in the bonus. Malik Gardner, three-pointer no good. Austin Ear able to get the rebound for the Kimmicks. Now the Kimmicks just have to manage this quarter. They've got to continue to be aggressive, to go for all the advantages like that one. Austin Ear driving in, picking up the bucket. Ear is having a great game. Showing no fear at all. Layup comes through. Midland High just having one of those games where everything is going their way. On the other end, Cassidy getting the bucket to fall through. He has a dozen. Cassidy having a pretty good game in his own right. 19 point advantage for Midland here in the fourth quarter. Austin here. Taking a couple of dribbles now to Jake Dosto. We've got a timeout call. Eric Krause ends up calling the uh, timeout for the Midland High Chemex. So just a 30 second timeout, which will stop the clock with 5.49 to play. All Midland High, they have had the lead the entire contest. And uh, the Midland High Chemex looking to close out tonight. We still got another 5.49 to play. Yeah, we, we do. I, I think tonight, uh, as we watch Dow, we are, are kind of aware that Malik Gardner is human. And he's the second leading scorer for Dow, but uh, with, with just seven at this point. And he doesn't need to force it, but uh, it's just a matter that they've got to get more offense. And Midland High just ha has to uh, continue moving on offense and uh, taking advantage of any opportunities that Dow gives them. Now the Midland High Chemex working the ball around after the timeout. Midland High will be hosting the boys' district the first week of March as Austin Ear goes on the baseline. Ear continuing to have his great game with a baseline bucket. That was easily his prettiest shot of the night. 21 point lead for the Midland High Chemex. Chargers fade away shot and a foul is gonna be called, which will send Michael Robb to the free throw line. 
Rob checking in during that last timeout is just a freshman. He was just brought up last week to the varsity team, and Mike Robb getting a chance to uh, get some playing time against the uh, Midland High Kimmicks, and he will be on the free throw line. Rob unable to get the free throw to fall through. Mentioned the boys' districts at Midland High will begin on Monday, March the 4th. The Dow High Chargers will play Bay City Central at 5.30, and Midland will host Mount Pleasant at 7.30 in that district. Rob missing both of his free throws. Austin Ear pulling down the rebound. Peyton DeWilt trying to get across the line. A foul is going to be called, and a lot of miscommunication on the Dow High Chargers, and that is something that you absolutely you, you know, do not like to see. And I'm sure Marshall Gray is going to be a, uh, talking about this in in the very near future because you can't have Fitzgibbon and Gardner, your two two of your top players, yelling at each other in the middle of a game. No, it's uh, the, the game, they're, they're so competitive and they both want to win so badly. They've just got to be careful that they keep the team aspect in the center. 56 to 35, it has been all Midland from the get-go in this Saginaw Valley matchup. Chargers with a baseline shot, does not fall through. Jake Dosto will have the rebound for the Midland High Kimmicks. The Kimmicks and the Chargers on opposite sides of the district bracket. So if there was to be a third rematch between these two teams, it would have to be in the district final. But both the Kimmicks and the Chargers would have to win two games in the districts in order to set up that matchup. Yeah, you know, when you get to the tournaments, uh, you know, anything can happen. But uh, the Kimmicks are really lining themselves up for a pretty nice run. Austin Ear will be on the free throw line for Midland High. Unable to get the first half of the one and one. Chargers coming back the other direction. Gavin Grocheck drives into the paint, feeds a nice pass over to Zach Cook, who could not get the bucket to go. Cassidy with the rebound, and Cassidy able to get the bucket to fall through. Marshall Gray wants a timeout. Andrew Cassidy may be the, uh, the one player for the Dow High Chargers tonight that uh, is playing at his best. Well, he certainly is having an impressive night. He's got 14 points. Uh, he's been real aggressive inside, uh, you know, but he's got uh, a lot of tall people that he's got to uh, contend with under there. But, yeah, he's done very, very well so far. And uh, they're going to need a little bit more of that in the last four minutes of, of this quarter. Now the Midland High Chemics, on the other hand, having things going their way. As you see Eric Krause talking to the uh, the Kimmicks there, this is a, a situation for Midland High where everything has gone your way, not only tonight, but this week. Oh, yeah, certainly. Yeah, with uh, their impressive win against Saginaw High the other night, and now with uh, this uh, performance tonight, they've, um, they've been able to spread the court. They've played really good defense. Uh, they have just done a, a remarkable job. And what we saw when we uh, when they played before, uh, we're not seeing any of that. We're seeing a very, very balanced team uh, of uh, Kemmicks as they are approaching the end of the third quarter or fourth quarter. Just under four minutes to play in this contest. Midland High leading 56 to 37 over the Dow High Chargers. Midland to Alec Johnson, thought about the three, now goes to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung being double teamed, ends up trying to find Williams who does a good job keeping the ball in play. Ear works it back over to Williams. Kimmick very content with holding on to the ball. They're already in the bonus. 
Ty, uh, Nathan Blanky works now to Will Williams. Blanky from the elbow, fires up a shot and gets the friendly bounce. I've said it a couple of times in this game. When things are going your way, things just continue to, to go your way. Yeah, a very opportunistic uh, role on that. Gavin Grocheck missing the three-pointer. Midland High now coming back the other direction. Alec Johnson thought about the three, decides against it. Ball goes out of bounds and Midland High able to keep possession. Now more Chargers coming into this contest. Alex Huss checking in for the first time and Matt Deshaun also checking into the game. 2.45 to play. It is a 21 point Midland High lead. On the baseline, Nathan Blenke now working the ball inside. Will Williams, couple of dribbles, now to Alec Johnson, back to Williams, who goes over to Blanky. Williams taking a couple of dribbles. Austin Ear could have fired up the shot, but Midland right now being very content with running as much time off the clock as possible. One thing that's peculiar is that I, I see uh, Tyler DeYoung open and Midland isn't hitting him with the ball. Clock down to two minutes to go in the game. Now Nathan Blanky will drive in and a good block. Andrew Cassidy continuing to play hard for the Dow High Chargers. Cassidy able to get the shot to fall through. Dow High works it inside, loses the ball, able to recover it. A nice dish inside and Cassidy able to complete the play. Andrew Cassidy with a breakout game for the Dow High Chargers, the one bright spot and what has got to be a disappointing night for the Chargers. 90 seconds to play, Tyler DeYoung wide open. This time underneath, it was Zach Hook coming up with the block. And coming up on the other end, Alec Johnson with the steal, and he decides not to put the shot in. Midland High just wants to run as much time off the clock as possible, and uh, the Chargers, actually, they're gonna call Eric Krause is going to call a timeout because he wanted to get his subs into the game. He had five players that had been sitting at the scorer's table waiting to get into the contest, and we hadn't had a stop of in the game for a couple of minutes, so Eric Krause had to call a timeout to get the, uh, the fresh players into the contest. I think if Alec Johnson had known that, he might have put that shot up. So Midland High bringing a lot of new faces into the game. John McDonald is working the ball right now against Alex Huff. Feeds it over to Matt Schnur. Now it's Gabe Blaylock with a three-pointer. Shot is no good. Zach Stern had the rebound, and he'll go to the free throw line. 60 seconds to play in this contest, in this game produced by staff and volunteers at uh, MCTV. If you know any of the following people, and you see them in the supermarket, you hang out with them after hours, you may want to give them a big time thank you for spending their Valentine's Day bringing you coverage of high school basketball. Jim Malik, John Walters, Matt Robinson, Cheryl Rosada, Billy Bethune, and Matt Richardson. Those individual staff and volunteers at MCTV doing an unbelievable job. These sports productions could not be done without the help of the MCTV staff and volunteers. Three-point shot taken by Dow High's uh, Kyle Cushman did not go through. Midland High looking to wind out the final 40 seconds underneath. Shot attempted by Schnurr is no good. Chargers will come back the other direction. Matt Deshaun launching a three-pointer. Shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by Midland High's Noah Sanders. And a foul is going to be called on Alex Huff. I don't think it was exactly a, uh, a foul that he intended to commit, but nonetheless, it will send John McDonald to the free throw line for Midland. And this may get John into the scoring book. Uh, Midland only has four, four players that have scored tonight, which is amazing. Those four, however, scored a lot. They did. Uh, Will Williams, 20. 
Blanky 18, uh, Johnson 11, and Ear 8. But I have to say I'm missing one point from somebody in there. Final seconds, John McDonald launching a three-pointer. Shot is no good. Loose ball, Gabe Blaylock getting the rebound, and Blaylock with the reverse layup for the Midland High Chemex. 21 points, and that may be our final score. The seconds ticking off the clock. The Midland High Chemex coming into Dow territory, and Midland High dominating from the opening bucket to the final shot. It was all blue and gold here tonight. Midland High coming away with a 60 to 39 win. Uh, Mid Midland dominated defensively underneath the basket. Dow High just couldn't get their offense going. Uh, Garner had a normal night, I guess. Uh, he had to have another terrific night for Dow to compete. Mid Midland High, very sharp tonight. Yeah, it was all Midland. They had, not only did they do the, the routine things and the, the things that you expect to be done, but Midland High also had everything going their way from the amazing three-pointer at the end of the first half down to, you know, to wild buckets to start the third quarter. It was absolutely all Midland High. And, uh, you know, we're going to take a look right now, Tom, at some of the highlights of this contest, and they're going to be mostly Midland High, who just had a great contest from the Williams three-pointer early in the contest. To the three-pointer from the baseline by Blanky. Nathan Blinky. Another three-pointer by Williams. Will Williams had three three-pointers in the first quarter alone, plus some great aggressive defense. Chargers did have some moments where they did shine in this contest, like that three-pointer from Malik Gardner. But for the most time, it was Midland High. Austin Ear with a phenomenal performance for the Kimmicks. Baseline shots, Nathan Blanky, Austin Erie, they all played incredibly well. And Dow really, John Bork gave them a, a, some good minutes. Absolutely, but what about the shots that just continued to fall in for the Midland High Kimmicks throughout the entire contest? Offensive rebounds going in for the shot as well for Midland High. So, and then, of course, that shot right there was the way the first half ended. But I tell you what, it was a, a, a highlight reel indeed for the Midland High Chemex. They just had everything going their way from the first half to the second half. Amazing shots from, uh, from Nate Blakey. Austin Ear had a terrific game, not to mention Alec Johnson who absolutely did incredibly well. Alec Johnson at one point, that three-pointer three followed by the steal and another bucket just kind of put that dagger into the Dow High Chargers. And Will Williams just got everything going with that three-point shot. He just, he set the tone early and the other Kimmicks just followed his, his, uh, his lead. The Midland High Kimmicks improving to 13 and four with the victory. The Dow High Chargers dropped down to seven and nine with the loss. The regular season wrapping up for these two teams in the next week. Districts will be held at Midland High beginning on Monday, March the 4th. We invite you to come on out to the Kimmick Gym to watch the action. For our entire MCTV crew who did a phenomenal job bringing you high school basketball on this Valentine's Day, and for my broadcast partner, Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. The final score here tonight, Midland High 60, Dow High 39. Good night, everyone.